We are just hours away from ringing in the new year. From J-Lo to Tom Cruise, the stars are sharing their resolutions for an epic 2021. We know what Tom Cruise's resolution is for 2021. Finish MI7. After his COVID safety tirade was leaked by The Sun, he's reportedly moving the production to a COVID-proof former top-secret military base in the UK. Michael Douglas is wrapping up 2020 with some good news. Announcing the birth of his grandson, Ryder, and season three of The Kaminsky Method is coming this spring. But the one thing he really hopes for in 2021? Peace. Peace between us and countries, peace between us and families and in neighborhoods. We have to come back together. Michael's Basic Instinct co-star and activist, Sharon Stone, is adding a new title in the new year as she works with the Biden transition team. As I get into my third act, I really want to be able to be more productive in being of service. And in 2021, she'll be detailing her 40-year career and her near-death experience in a new memoir, The Beauty of Living Twice. What does that mean, beauty living twice? I like to think that I've kind of been woken up a little bit and given purpose. I had that near-death near experience that they talk about and got to come back with a new, a new sense of why. J-Lo has a new sense of purpose and she learned it from this tough year. 2020 has really been the year of the pivot. You know, it was a challenging year for everybody. It was just a time where we were kind of realizing what was really important. But Jenny McCarthy's son may have really summed up the past year. He goes, 2020 blows. And I go, <laughs> you know what, Evan? You're absolutely right. Jenny has a New Year's resolution. I hope for a back to normal society where we can talk to one each other, be with one another, communicate, even argue, as long as it's face to face. I'll take I it. I hear you on that. But Billy Porter's not playing the resolution game. Ain't no resolution this year, Dad, he's tired. He's co-hosting this year's Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, but he told Chesley how young Billy would celebrate. We would watch the ball drop, we would watch it, and then we'll go out after midnight and hit the club. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm already home by midnight. Baby, like, yeah. I'm home and in my, you know, if it wasn't for me working, I would be home in my pajamas <laughs> watching the show. Ken Jong and Joe McHale are co-hosting Fox's New Year's Eve Toast and Roast 21, which means last year's resolution didn't quite work out. Never to work with Joe McHale in 2020, and it, it was a spectacular failure. That was mine too. Failure. Vivica A. Fox is looking forward to a healthier, happier 2021. My New Year's resolution is that I just want to continue to grow and, and be happy. I, I really do. And keep this body tight and right. Okay, okay. Well, you ain't had a problem with that. Tell you what, I did get a little COVID fluffy for just a hot second when we couldn't go nowhere for the first 45 days, and I don't cook, so I was eating whatever I wanted. Mickey D's, I was tearing it up. And Man. I went past Samir one time, and I went, oh, wow, okay, time to pull back. <laughs> <laughs> and Bachelorette Tasha and her fiance, Zach, are looking forward to maybe babies and I do's? When's the wedding? Can we come? Oh, yeah, you can definitely come. Um, we'll send you an invite. Um, but we don't have a date as of yet, so we'll let you know when that happens. Well, guys, congratulations on the loves. Let love rule, baby. 2021. Get out of here, 2020. Get out. Nobody wants you. <laughs> All right, we want you to be the leaders of love in 2021. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.